What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Tooth Farm, episode four, Farmer's Trash. All right, guys, today on uh, day six, we are uh, looking good on the weather. We just want to start uh, looking and taking care of our animals that we have. So I'm here to run through chickens and cattle. And, and like I said, day six wasn't much to do. I actually let that whole day slide by. Forgot to get a lot of uh, video clips. So we will show be showing a lot of day seven. But we will definitely start with day six here. Uh, early morning, about 10 a.m. And uh, I know that I did about you know, an hour, hour and a half, and I just forgot to uh, record due to doing you know, a lot of editing. We're doing more uh, painting, making my words, and stuff like that. And I just didn't record that stuff. And that's where it skips. So, anyways, let's go head down to the. Uh, we are going to go down to the uh, pig pen. And meanwhile, while I will do that, I will show you off my fields. I got, I got uh, three fields that I'm currently working on, my large, medium, and small. And uh, I'm going to actually make the large right over there a little bigger. My small is going to stay, and then there's going to be another field uh, south of my small field. My medium field I put in, and my large field. Again, just, just back there behind me. And then right ahead of me is my small field. Now, a lot of me would have been my medium but I guess it's safe. We'll get, like I said, we want to take care of our animals real quick, check them out, make sure they're all fed, watered, and cleaned up. And I do know that I do got to uh, switch out my pig pen uh, across the street because I do not like these uh, mods. I find out that they're more of a mess, more of a hassle. Uh, the last episode that you have seen on uh, January 15th was uh, me get rid of my chicken coop and cow coop or get add my another cow coop <laughs> I was on the word coop there but anyways yeah the chicken coop or the pig pen way back there we're gonna switch that out today that that's what we got for the episode as of today for the sixth day early spring and then it goes into the seventh day and we'll just get you all caught up guys so let's get all these sheep we wanna eventually come get some milk come and get that wool that's actually why I'm bringing this uh, trailer down to the shop because it's going to be a long day. Probably until the day of end of day seven is how long I use all this stuff right here. So I'm going to eventually drop the trailer off at the shop. I'm going to change the pig pen, and that's actually going to happen now. We get rid of all these pigs. We got to definitely get rid of all these Yorkshires. Yorkshires. And get rid of the stable. Like I said. That stable was a mess, guys. If you guys uh, think it was any better, please let me know. Uh, that, that me personally did not care for it. I'm gonna put a, a, a put a stable where I can actually see my pigs. I don't care for that one. Seems to be more hard, and the cleanness. They only had like two percent on the ground. You can never really get it, and it was always way over dirty. So we're just gonna paint this up, make this. The area, man. Make the make my uh, new uh, whatever you call it, my uh, cattle, pig cattle. It's gonna make slurries. That's all it's good for. If I could sell them for meat, oh man, would I be having a big damn side of your ham? Oh, mm -mm -mm, sausage, bacon, you name it. I would make sure I had like three of these damn things. But uh. They have not yet released where you can do the meat. <laughs> but when they do, man, I am ready for some bacon. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, we'll dress that up, get some pigs in here. You can see just where, I, uh, where the old building was. <laughs> I haven't moved the tractor or anything. So you can kind of see everything going around it. Alright, we'll get our Yorkshires back. Back in the pen. So, bam! We're still on day six of this. This is actually where uh, day six ends because I know that shortly after this, I started editing the land and putting in other things and moving things. And ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this beautiful pigs. All right, let's get to some food in this damn pig's belly. Let's uh, back her right up. Tip that back, and then we're going to get some water. And uh, that pretty much conducts day six. Day seven is a whole long day. I got a whole bunch of wood. So let's go poke this into the, the uh, pig. 
pig feed over there. Get some water, back her up. Drop the water out there. You got it, you name it. This is it. End of day six, guys. This is my little piggy wiggy. The cleanness is 0%, but I know that they are just brand new, so they just came in. It's 11.56 a.m. So it looks like I got to noon on day six. And pretty much, it was just a lot of editing after that. I didn't do much. And I didn't record any of that. I don't like to record this stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that hand. Mm, I can see that. Just cut me off a nice thick chunk piece of ham right there. Oh, man. Sausage. Oink, oink. Oh, man. I can see it already. Okay, well, I probably should get off my sausage and bacon subject here and start day early, uh, day seven early, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we are now day seven, uh, early spring still, 10 in the morning. Uh, looks like the ground is about 42, we'll get up to about 59 degrees. The weather outside is going to be about 50 degrees today, so there you go. Just past noon. And now our animals. Our cleanness on the chickens are good, but everything else. Well, uh, I do know that we're going to take to our first sheep. That's why we're. we're Feed our sheep real quick. And notice there's no sidewalks, guys. I, I do point this out. The reason why I point it out because uh, also time will pass in day seven that I don't record and things will change. So, all right. So it looks like a sheep just need water now. Let's get on out of there. We filled them up, uh, cleaned them up. We got a new pig stable. Um, they've been watered. They've been fed. They do need, uh, no, no, I don't want to strain them. I do want slurry for my pigs. So, again, notice no road, no new uh, road. And there'll be actually one right behind the sheep cattle right here, or the, whatever you want to call this barn. There'll be another road right there. And it's some, a little bit sidewalks right here. I'm still working on it. But uh, that doesn't happen for another uh, little bit. So, we'll see, we'll see. You gotta feed my cows. And all I'm doing is just running around, you guys. Hitting, hitting up all my animals, feeding them, watering them, cleaning them if they need it. So, that is the early morning of day seven, early spring. Uh, things do, you will see things change. Uh, I know I didn't mention this now, but my water tower is over there by my uh, dairy barn. That, my friend, also will be moved. Uh, try not to cheat. I try to. Be a little more realistic in my farms, you know. Uh, try to be more most realistic as I can. So that eventually that water tower will get moved to a better location. So yeah, we're gonna do get some water for our sheep. I think everything else looks pretty good. Uh, this is our uh, slurry cows. Uh, my, I don't know, that's my slurry. That's my dairy. Sorry, I mean, that's my dairy. And that one is making manure. I gotta do all of them. So let's, you know, we're, uh, we'll give them our, we'll get them water while we're here, and I will eventually remove this water tower. So this is the only thing I do not have too realistic is that water tower by the very end. We'll eventually we'll remove it. All right, guys, I do have to mention this. Uh, day seven, early spring, 12:05 noon, and I did start another field plot. Honestly, yeah. Uh, it's not really a new fill, it's just an extension to the old one that I showed you earlier, the large fill that I was telling you. I wanted to make it extra large, if you will. My thing is, I have to have big fills. Okay, that's the whole reason why I like this particular flat map. I realize that I can make some big fills, it just it opened me up. So I have done all the work by plowing this, and we'll jump through the scenes here. You know. A uh, few things, you know, three hours later, we got to get the, you can see uh, time's jumping, I had to get time, and I'm, boom. Now, three hours, notice, new sidewalks and roads, okay? That's what I was doing between noon and three on the game. I didn't record it, I clipped it out, so I could uh, do things like new roads over there. 
And that was the whole purpose. And that's just this little area. I didn't actually, I did move the water tower. That, okay, that was part of the uh, deal. I moved it then. So you can kind of see it way over there. By the, uh, and I'll, and I'll get more close up in the water tower. We're going to take this down to the, to the uh, wash bay area, my load yard. So I'm going to get more seats on the shelf. I love this uh, feature. I'm going to take out all my lime fill-up stations. I like filling them up by the bags. Makes it makes it where you have to work more. Go get more loads. So always keep enough uh, spaces to keep in my shelf. I'm going to that shelf a little better. It's fun enough. And uh, we'll park my truck there. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the field. It is 326, guys. Three hours later, I'm still plowing. As you can see, it doesn't look like I did much. I did do a few laps, both sides. So we're going to fast forward at three more hours. <laughs> no, when I say fast forward, that means I just took out a bunch of clips for you not to see. Fast forward is me still going and taking now I'm on the last one. And we'll get our line spreader on it. It's at 635. This is just pretty much conducting day seven, guys. Early spring. I was trying to get this filled. Yeah, once I realized that I was cutting daylight, man, I had to jump on the field and get sh moving, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and a few things. I had to put, then I had to come back to this even. I put the pallets away, all that fun stuff. This is at 6.37 p.m. And when I start putting my, uh, my shelf, I'm on the phone, my shelf. I still got to buy more, actually. Ridiculous. We're only on January 22nd, 2020, people. It's ridiculous. Hopefully, everyone's had a great, great start to their year. I know I have, and uh, that's why I have no problem sharing my little farm here. Hopefully, it just brightens your Wednesday up. Seeing that someone else is just working just as hard on their little cartoon farm. <laughs> so, um, this, this is it, guys. Um, I'm, I'm getting more of my. I'm going to film the rest of my lap. That's, that's the big point there. Yeah, once I realize I can double stack these and double, uh, double shelf this stuff, I don't think that. I can utilize all my shelf space. And I didn't actually show you the unloading process because that took a while. I did. That was a 20 minute video. On it. I did cut off a lot of stuff from that. So, it is 6.53. You can see the time has changed about 20 minutes. And it took me about 20 minutes to load all that stuff off the uh, trailer onto the racks. The lime, the seeds, the fertilizer, so on and so forth. And as you can see, 6.56, I have a higher worker still liming the last row. It looks like I got it connected between the two fields. That is where it's... And I'm just going to grow more corn. That's all. all right, let's turn on these lights. Because I know these lights are ridiculous. I don't have damn lights on this one. I have not really played with this in the dark yet. So I'm walking around, turn on. Okay, there's a light track. Oh, well, I think that's a light switch right there. There we are. Ooh, that turned out. I'm right there. Right up. Doesn't it? Look at that. All right, so. Uh, we got to clean their uh, cage up, or their, oh yeah, they got some dirt right there. Or silage, I should call it. You yeah, usually can't put it back in the trough, so I have to go put it in the uh, silo. But, uh, it is getting dark. This is probably where I'm going to get close to calling the night, guys, because it's getting really hard to see. Uh, I was trying to hold out as long as I could, because I try not to fast forward, or try to I'll just go with the game speed, and then when it's that time, the only fast forward I do is the sleep fast forward. When I uh, speed it up by 5,000, <laughs> when you go to sleep or whatever. It's really dark. That water tower, look at that. It's beautiful back there. But, oh, yeah, well, that's right. I gotta get the cultivator on there first. He's gonna work all night. He's gonna work through the night, man. He's gonna take it slow. I'm paying this guy overtime. That's right, he's gotta go some, do some cultivating so I can have that seed first thing tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Yeah, that's just the way you gotta do it in farming, right? I guess. If you want something to go. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, that's the end of day seven, guys. 
Uh, it is 8.02 p.m. It is too damn dark to work. Got my little floodlights out there. I did end up keeping some, but I do end up getting rid of some. Because it just take too much space up. Other than that, I didn't keep too many of those. I think night is cool. Uh, maybe if I have space down the road, I'll, I'll get it. But I still have a, a lot of things I still got to buy on my farm. So, trying to utilize my space for the storage. And not get stupid stuff. All right, this is my pigs, my sheeps, and everything is looking pretty uh, decent for the end of day seven. I got my chickens. Uh, I know it looks like my large cattle, my cows here. I clean this. They can wait another day. That's not a problem. We'll get them on day eight and clean them up, clean up uh, whatever else needs cleaning. Really, it's their dirt barn as well. So that's it, guys. You saw it. End of day seven into day eight. Uh, the weather for the end of day seven is about 42 degrees. Uh, not too bad, actually, to be honest with you. All right, we're going to hit the 10-hour, and we're going to go straight into the new day. Spring, early 8, day 8. That's it, guys. Let's jump right into it. I can't remember. Okay, it looks like we stopped at 6.07 a.m. Not bad. Pay my bills. Look back to farm. Now I see the lights. The daylight's come back. It's still a little... Eh, it's not too bad. So let's start with our pig. We're going to start cleaning our pigs because I said... Uh, for the end of day seven, it wasn't too bad, but now he's kind of getting into early day eight. And I know I got a prize for you guys. I'm just gonna push this all off for a minute and go get a bucket, feed them, and then the cleanness eventually go up. I do need to give them some more water and uh, sheep water. Looks like cows need water and clean, so I'll drive this over to my cows right now. Yeah, I'll drive that all over cows and then I will get this on the field this is my my uh, seer for my corn to see what's matching the, the field right there and I got my cultivator far up in the left he's still finishing wow and that's it guys I think you guys pretty much figured out that field and we'll get it fertilized I'll kind of give you a little glance of that way and you know guys hit it up man subscribe uh, 46 hours and 41 minutes on that field. And this was recorded January 1st, 2020, so I do have the rights of saying Happy New Year.